Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We are doing a boating tech talk. And what we're going to be talking about, we've got a question from a fellow boater, Michael. Michael has a Hatteras 70, a uh, lovely power boat, and he is based out of Queensland, Australia. Actually, I've had a few of our team members from Queensland, and it is on my bucket list. Definitely want to go there one day. Never been to Australia before, even though I live on the west coast of North America. It's going to happen, though. All right, so Michael asks, uh, Jeff, I've recently installed a solar array of six hundred or six 175 watt solar panels. Okay, so context, we've got six solar panels. I've, and Michael keeps going and he says three of those each, so basically three panels are feeding one controller. So he's basically putting three panels together to each one controller. So he has effectively two solar arrays on that boat, right? Each solar array is of three panels, going to a single controller and that's definitely doable and we've done that so he's got three panels each going to controller two solar arrays so far so good all right and those uh, solar controllers are recharging one of their 24 volt house battery okay pretty common all right from these uh, battery banks I installed a Victron 24 to 12 DC to DC charger or what I call a charging converter so basically what that device does is it allows to have 24 volt battery bank charge a 12 volt battery bank, right? And what's great about that is it only does so when the original battery bank, the 24 volt in this instance, has what's considered a charging voltage. So it's a little bit like some wealthy people are generous when they have a billion, right? It's easy to be generous when you have a lot. And so what we use the same philosophy on boats and is we're saying, well, listen, if a battery is undergoing charging, then why not take some of that charging voltage, right? Which uh, let's say, for example, on a 12 volt battery might be considered 13.3 or 13.4. So at 24 volts, you double. So that's 26.8 or 27 volts and saying, hey, listen, when I'm at 26.8 or 27, and again, that's all adjustable. You know what? I wouldn't mind sharing some of that charging voltage with other batteries that might need it. In this case, he's sharing the love or the charging voltage from his house uh, batteries, which are 24 volt, to his starter batteries, uh, to 12 to 3 12 volt batteries to stay fully charged. Now, the system works very well. So far, so good. All normal. My question I would also like to connect my two 32 volt cranking batteries to also be fed from my solar array. Now, that's harder because although 32 volts, um, and I heard through the rumor mill, and maybe someone can point that out to me, I don't know, it's never been substantiated, was actually apparently invented on the West Coast in North America. And there's probably a lot of boats that have that over here. And I've seen it on old fishing trawlers and Bertrands used to have that. And there's a lot of boats actually that have 32 volts. And if you're wondering how do they get 32 volts, you actually buy an 8 volt battery, four cells. And so you buy four of these 8 volt batteries and you wire them literally in series to make a 32 volt battery bank. And I've worked on those boats before and it's not, it's not common, but it's not so uncommon that we're unfamiliar with it. The challenge is, and this is a good question from Michael, is like, well, it's one thing to go from 24 to 12, but what if I want to go 24 to 32? And so effectively, you're looking for the same thing, right? You're looking for a DC to DC charging converter that would go from 24 to 32. Not sure if that exists, never put one in, it might be. Uh, failing that, I'm not sure what I would end up doing to recharge those energy batteries. You might have to put in a small solar array just to do those batteries. Also heard through the rumor mill, never tried. Again, people maybe want to comment. I've heard, but never seen it. And so that means I'm always a little bit sort of cautionary about it. I've heard of having one solar panel connected to two controllers. Don't know if that's possible. Theoretically, it might make sense. I've just never seen it done. But what I would do is probably install a dedicated solar array just for my cranking batteries. And I would get a controller that outputs 32 volts. Again, I have never seen it, but it's not to say it doesn't exist because my world is not the whole world. So if any of you have seen a 32 volt solar controller, can you please post it down below? And any of you that have seen a 24 to 32 or a 12 to 32 charging converter, which is a relatively new product, please post it down below and help Michael figure out how are we gonna get his engine batteries, which are 32 volts, get a charging voltage from either 24 or 12. 
And it's a great question, Michael. I just have never come across that setup before, although it's not rare. I understand that it's not completely unique, but having three battery voltages on a boat is certainly not without its challenges and you're living them right now. It's worth doing though, because it's a boat. It's never easy. If you've got further questions on inverter chargers or DC to DC charging converters, we've got a few videos on that. And we're also gonna be introducing a new section just on that topic. So potentially look up on our products. It might be there. And if it's not there, it's coming soon. So just wait and um, stay safe on the water. And thanks for asking, Michael. I appreciate it. And thanks all of you for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.